everybody, my name is Green and welcome back to another Hermitcraft episode. Look at how much I have made and look what are the progress I've made underwater. Now there's uh, a bit of a problem that I'm encountering now is that this is going to be extraordinarily tall and thin, which is not what I was after when I started making this build. I did want it to appear much, much wider than it is right now, so there might be a little bit of a rearrange and redesign that happens at some point, but today we're gonna, well, we seem to be starting every episode off with some kind of transaction, and today is no different. I'm poor. I am dirt poor. I've got five diamonds to my name. That is measly. I can't do anything with that, and for some reason I've got potatoes everywhere. Anyway, what I'm doing today, just to start us off, is to try and get a bit more diamonds to my name without having to grind too much. So I've got cobblestone galore, and I'm selling to Jevin, who desperately needs cobblestone. So I've managed to secure a deal of 208 stacks of cobble, that's a lot of cobblestone, for 32 diamonds. So we're going to quickly deliver that to him. Take his diamond. I somehow feel like this isn't worth it, but I, I don't really know the value of things, so I'm a very easy target. Hopefully this is a pretty good deal. I'm not entirely sure. Jevin. Jevin. Hello. Jevin. Hello. Oh, the, oh, the cobblestone delivery guy's here. <laughs> yes. Yay. Come down I to did, my workshop, good sir. I did promise I'd deliver it in person. Yes. I must admit, Jevin, like, I don't... I've, well, this is like my first... Uh, proper sale where I'm selling and I've never done it before so I don't know whether I'm getting fleeced here or not so I, uh, I gotta be honest with you I, I feel like you're getting a pretty good deal so I have seven empty ones that I can give you to replace those excellent and here is your payment good sir there we go that's literally oh, wow. that's most of the cobble I have and I have a feeling I'm seriously going to regret this at some point <laughs> I like I feel like at one point I mean Hermitcraft goes on for nearly a year a season yeah I'm probably gonna regret giving away so much stone and cobble I just I feel it I feel it yeah well thank you for the cobblestone sir and I hope that you enjoy all of those diamonds I will I'm gonna go and buy some pickles <laughs> <laughs> my pickle shop's and my pickle shop's not making enough money, so I need to go and buy my own. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> Speaking of diamonds, let's head over to the pickle shop. Now it's actually been a few days, and I've had a few messages from some of the other hermits telling me that they're not too happy with the design of my shop. And in, I heard, yep, there it is. Iskal has put something on the top. Now I haven't actually seen this until now, but I definitely knew that this was coming because lots of people told me and I, I, I couldn't escape it. But oh my goodness, what is that? It's a massive pickle coming out the top of my pickle jar. What does this say? You're a pickle, Harry. Oh no. Are they making fun of me? I don't look like Harry Potter. Well, I, to be fair, lots of people say that I look like Harry Potter in real life. So maybe that's where it's, it's come from. This is a pretty fun build. Do you think I should keep it there? I, to be honest with you, it doesn't make any difference. I think I'm going to keep it. It's a giant pickle. I, I can't complain in any way whatsoever. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a very well-made pickle. You're a pickle, Harry. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you, Escal, for building, uh, well, a bit of, you put a bit of height on my pickle jar. It's definitely more noticeable. And there's a couple of other things that we need to do while we're here. One, we actually need to make a way out because several people have perished in this pickle. And here's a couple of shots of that happening. Of course, the next question is, how does one exit? There is no way out of here, at least not that I can find. For real, he did that. He made a shop with no exit. No way. <laughs> That's the next me. That's actually hilarious. Hopefully you can rock it out of here. Ooh, ooh. So much for that. The other thing that we need to do is... Oh, someone's gone and waterlogged the chests, but I forgot to waterlog some of these chests, and oh my goodness, people were getting very upset at me. So I've gone ahead and done that. They're all waterlogged now. There we go. No harm, no foul. Oh my goodness, 
we sold some pickles. Any more? We actually made some money! Guys! Eight diamonds! I made a profit of eight measly diamonds. <laughs> it's not very much at all, but it, it definitely wasn't worth the day and a half I put into making this. But it's pretty good nonetheless. Anyway, we definitely need to go and put a proper exit in here, because otherwise people are never going to come shopping here. So you could say that this pickle was a total, total success. And I, I think that's, that's a pretty fair assessment of the whole thing. We actually got some money and we got a couple of laughs as well. I think that some people aren't particularly happy with what I've done, but I happen to think that it was pretty funny in general. And for those of you that are kind of new to my channel, I do like to play the odd practical joke. I've officially added an exit. It is a, it's a little bit obvious, I guess, but the shop is supposed to have one at the end of the day. Go straight up and out the back. You can't get back, well, you, you could swim down there, but it's probably very unnoticeable. Anyway, so that kind of settles the whole pickle shop sen shenanigans for now. We have, well, it looks okay. We've got a jar of pickles. Iskel has built a pff, Harry Potter pickle on top, and then we've got our shop, which now has a functioning exit. But most importantly, we've made eight diamonds, which is absolutely nothing. For the amount of time I put in there, I would have been better off getting some diamonds by hand. Oh well, I'll just add that to the small pile of diamonds that I've got, and that's a job well done. And also, in the meantime, I have still been working on the base. I've made even more progress, and it takes such a long time to make anything on this thing. Now, this is the underwater segment, and I'm not entirely happy with it yet. Remember, this is all a work in progress. This will change the most, but this is actually going the direction that I want it to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of create another ring with a little bit of a gap between these two. And I'm essentially going to make this shape go up, overhang a little bit, and then double back and create what hopefully will seem almost like a muffin shape. So it'll go round and over. But that's going to take a huge, huge amount of time to get right. And I'm, I'm a little bit scared to start it in case it ends up being, well, like the underwater segment, which is a little bit thin. Now, the problem is, I think that this looks a little bit too thin. That's my biggest issue with it. It just looks like it's not standing on enough. So I've actually completed all the way around this. It's consistent all the way around. I've checked multiple times that there are no errors. And it does look pretty good. The only thing is there isn't actually an entrance. If you want to go in, you're going to have to go in through this little hole in the middle. There we go. So there's actually a fair amount of space down here. And I'm thinking I'm going to leave this water for now until I can decide what I want to do with it. My conduit's down here. I had to move it from Squidward. And it's all going pretty well, actually. I think everything so far is going okay. Not perfect, but okay. The next thing that I want to do is I want to keep that pickle shop completely stocked up. We're going to make a quick little pickle farm that will just solve any pickle problems because I want to actually light up a lot of the ocean around me as well and I'm going to need a fair amount of pickles to do that. So we're going to quickly make a farm and yes, I am following a tutorial. I didn't make this in any way. It's just a means to an end. So let's get into it. <laughs> So this is the Pickle Native 3000. This is a design that I found on YouTube and it's hard to credit the original creator because it's hard to tell who that is. There's a lot of clones or very similar designs to this, but I recommend checking out Il Mango because he's got some pretty cool tutorials. Anyway, this is the Pickle Nator and I'm pretty sure that it works after an hour of building it. So if we go up here, hit this lever, it pulses just at the right time should be able to see pickles just appearing occasionally and then the pistons push them down breaking the pickles and then they fall through here working with water has been a total pain but at the end of the day this has been fairly all right and it's this well it's producing pickles i just gotta wait a little while and they're slowly appearing while the pickle farm is churning away we're just going to start lighting up the seafloor because pickles are so less 
They're, they're just much more subtle than these giant sea lanterns. So I'm going to just start replacing these with pickles eventually, and it should look really, really nice. Also, nobody's mentioned, not even once, that there's a shipwreck right next to my base. I barely noticed this for some reason. I don't know why it's here. I don't know how- it must have been here for forever. I don't know if I've seen this before. I'm starting to wonder why I chose the shipwreck over there when this one is- I think it's a little bit more complete than my one. I don't know what's inside though. I, I, well, maybe Zuma or somebody's been in here. Ooh, no. There's a little bit. There's a little bit of swag in here. I've got potatoes. There's a full. <laughs> there's a full set of leather stuff. But I'm gonna take those carrots as I'm pretty sure I've not got any yet. So that's pretty useful. Yeah, that's not a, not a bad little bit of swag in there. Shipwreck. But it, it is missing. It is definitely missing pickles. That's the only thing I'll say about it. The shipwreck is pretty cool. But it needs more pickles. Swimming along, singing a song, planting pickles all day long. Pickles, pickles on the sea floor, pickles, pickles on the sea floor, pickles, pickles on the sea floor. I just sang that song and I can't even remember how it goes now. <laughs> Some of these songs that I do are just, they're just once and I shouldn't ever sing because I don't have the voice for it. I should be banned from singing, it should be illegal. That's like my version of the Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. It's the, it's, the pick, it's the sea pickle song. Let's see if this has made any difference whatsoever. That has actually made a world of difference. You can really see exactly where the pickles are, but they're not so in your face like the sea lanterns are. They, it just looks like part of the greenery, which is really, really nice. Pickles, pickles on the sea floor, pickles, pickles on the sea floor, pickles, pickles on the sea floor, planting pickles all day long. I also read a bunch of comments, and I haven't been here since it was made. This is the pineapple under the sea made by Scar, and people have told me that he's left me a gift from Aqua Scar. So that's, that is good times with Scar. And he's left me a trident. An Unbreaking 3 Mending Trident. How awesome is that? I haven't, I haven't actually used the trident once. We need to go and find something to throw it at. Now, where are the monsters at? The only thing I can see are fish. Maybe we can hit one of the fish. Oh, straight in the noggin. That's made a pretty big difference. I'm probably going to have to spread the light even further. I'm going to have to light up a lot of the ocean for this to look really good. And I'm going to have to get rid of those sea lanterns. But overall, I think lighting up the seafloor has been a really good thing. Really good thing. And someone said that sea pickles are useless. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. If I do say so myself. I imagine that this is done. We are out of bone meal, so this is everything. Not too shabby. I mean, it's only been running a few minutes, so not too bad. That's probably enough to restock the shop with, and that's all we really needed. So there we have it. The pickle shop is restocked, and that leaves just one more thing that I really want to do this episode. And that is Doc's Phantom Run. Now, I was told to go to the NHO, go to the nether, follow the signs, and I should be able to find it. I don't know what to expect at all. Okay, so this is it. The NHO Nature Reserve, whatever that is. Up, NHO, oh, Phantom Run. Here we go. I feel like I actually need directions. Like, I need a full map of the server to do this. Ice Speedway, take a boat to the Phantom Run. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so fast! Whoa! That's so cool. Oh, wait, I'm not finished. Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is so fast. How fast am I traveling exactly? Really fast. Oh! Oh, this is gonna be f I'm so excited. The build-up for this has been ma amazing. We're on a mushroom island. Oh my goodness! I've never seen a coral reef yet. I haven't seen one. I haven't explored far enough. I've just taken, I've sort of used Cub's shop to buy what I need. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, they needed to be because they are beautiful in real life, but I must say they've done a really good job on this update. 
That is a really nice sight to see. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting way too distracted. So that's the coral reef. So that's another thing that I've now seen in this update. And now we need to go and do the phantom run, wherever that is. I imagine it's this thing over here. This spooky looking thing over here, whatever this is. It's like been... I'm going to do a phantom run. I don't need phantoms right now, thank you. Where are you? Hello? I, he I hear, but I don't see. Wait a minute. They're probably coming from the phantom run. Okay. Please read the instructions carefully before entering. Why did I hit the button? Oh, this sounds terrifying. This is like the most terrifying thing ever. Oh, let's hit the locker room first, shall we? Let's get let's let's get rid of all of our stuff. Let's read the instructions while this screaming goes on. Welcome to the Phantom Death Run. Only the best and strongest Minecraft players, for example, the NHO, and hermits can master this challenge. If you hesitate, you are dead. Make sure you read Make sure to carefully read the instructions. One, press the button once. Don't spam, you fool. Pass through the airlock and the walk straight through the doors as they open. Look at the phantom in front of you and wait. You cannot hit any phantoms. If you do, it's a fine of five diamonds per hit. Should a phantom die, you will get sued. Okay. So don't kill the phantoms. Put all of your belongings in a locker chest. Sleep and set your spawn. Go in naked. You cannot take any items with you in the dungeon. You're allowed to bring food to regenerate health. The, bless the best players manage to make it without food. Note down the amount of tries and deaths and your episode name and number of show. Only the strong survive. Okay. Okay. Well, Doc, you've done a good job of scaring me. Let's just do it. The airlock is opening. Walk in. It's gonna close. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Run for your life. Hello? Oh! Hello, Mr. Phantom? I don't know what you- what are you doing? Oh. Oh, I see- oh! Um... Maybe if I just stay here... I will- I'll survive. Oh, the screaming, it's horrible. Okay, okay, okay. We can do a green. Where are they? <laughs> Haven't seen any yet. No, no! Two hits and you're out. Two hits and you're out. Two hits and you're... Where, where do I go? Where do I... Where do I go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? You've got to... Oh, I've got to go down. Oh, I'm safe underwater. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's regenerate. No, I think I'm underwater! You're definitely not safe underwater. Oh. Should we try this again? One more try. Let's try this again. And we know to keep moving. Alright, you just gotta... The, the key here is to keep moving. Okay. Okay. Round two, phantoms. Okay, let's go. Let's not even dilly-dally. Let's just go straight for it. Let's get round the corner here. Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. Round the corner, round the corner. You're not allowed to hit them, not allowed to hit them. Don't look at them, don't look at them, don't look at them. Just try and dive, try and dive. Try and dive, try and dive. Go, 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 go. They're not scary, they're not How am I up? I'm- what? I'm stuck! Okay, 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 where am I going? The hardest part is to know where you're going! There's a way out, there's a way out! Way up, way up, way up, way up! Okay, 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 okay. Wait, did I... Did I do it? I think I made it! I thought it was gonna be way longer than that. I think I did it! Was that my second or third try? I think that was my second try! That definitely needs to be longer, but that was so good. Right, so Grian, episode 8, and I had one death. <laughs> Look at that. Some people ha didn't even die. Not too shabby. I'm happy with that. I made it on my second run. That is terrifying. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here right now. This is that's too stressful. Too stressful. That was a lot of fun. A lot of stress, but a lot of fun. I'll be honest, I don't actually remember 
where I, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my goodness. Well, well done, Doc. That was a lot of fun. And I definitely won't be doing it again. <laughs> and that pretty much does it for this episode of Hermitcraft. If you look at that, that is pretty much all the... Well, that's a lot of progress that has been made on the base, not gonna lie. That is a huge amount of resources and time that have gone into that. And you can imagine just how tall this is going to get. And once I've added in some towers, it's gonna look really futuristic. In other news, Mumbo and I had a pretty long discussion yesterday about some plans and ideas. What we're going to do in the long run is connect up our two bases with a super speedy highway. He has been working on these biomes and I actually helped him out yesterday by making him an example tree and it looks like he's done a pretty good job of replicating it so he just had them sort of droop over that looks really cool well done mumbo so I kind of made like a little example and he's made some slightly smaller versions and I sort of told him to do some rocks and he's done a really good job well done mumbo this this looks brilliant he's added in a lot of uh, like proper terraforming. I gave him a few tips on how to ter terrain and terraform and I've got to say he's, he's done pretty well. Done pretty well indeed. So the plan for architects at the moment is for both of us to try and finish our bases in some way, get some machines going and then eventually we're going to link these up in some way with a super speedy highway and we're going to pull some shenanigans on the server and create some awesome things. So eventually this will all link up and become one giant architect HQ. Alright, so goodbye from me and goodbye from Paul. That's right, Paul. You're saying goodbye. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Goodbye! <laughs>